All right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. And to all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. And to all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. And it helps out the YouTube channel with the YouTube algorithm. Let me know that you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. And to stay tuned on in for all that we have to cover. Because we're going to talk about two ticker symbols towards the end of this video that I've been mentioning for the last two weeks. And they've been moving up pretty strong and going the opposite direction than many of us seen in our portfolio right some of us have our portfolio if you want to go ahead and comment down below and be bold with the raise of hands right the emoji raising up its hand if your stocks are down or moving sideways ever since this whole entire february to march slash crash or correction and some of these stocks have not recovered yet the s p 500 index is going higher so I would love to see your guys' comments down below. If you want to share your thoughts, be bold about it. You know, raise up your hand. I'm going to raise up my hand because there's a piece of my entire portfolio feeling like that. I've been swing trading some of these opportunities that I'm mentioning over at the Patreon, which has made me stay a little bit in the green, right? Or get opportunities to get some of that green, right? Some of that moolah, quick money plays. And also, I've been positioning myself and opportunities that I'm seeing weakness through some of the stocks I mentioned over at the Patreon as well. So that link will be down below for those of you that are interested in maximizing profits and minimizing losses. But I look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts down below. But I want investors to know that they're not alone. I raised up my hand here just doing this video with you guys that there is a portion of my portfolio in the red or kind of moving sideways, okay? But Sensionics here, let's look at it. So we've talked about all the cool things with the continuous glucose monitor of this company. We've talked about the potential, how I can take a market share compared to its competitors, and the good and the bad with Sensionics. Now you need to keep in mind that this is below 1 billion right now. It was close to a billion and a lot of investors yesterday commented, oh, this needs some room for correction. Like this is supposed to be less than a billion. I agree with that, but I want investors to be aware that this stock is definitely worth $3 and it definitely could 10x from there in the near future. It's just going to take time. So we're going to be watching this one closely daily to look at the supports and resistance, but we're also going to be reminded that, you know, if this FDA approval goes through and all these good things that you see all these different articles say about SENS, right? SENS stock, Sensionics Inc., all these things are going to have an impact on the long term of this stock. So if you believe in the stock and you've done your research and you understand it, every single dip is an opportunity, not a misfortune, fortune, excuse me. So very important. So one of the best things you always want to keep in mind is what was the most recent low and how low did it go? And it's right here at 190. So honestly, anything below $2 is signs of weakness anything above it is strength keep in mind this stock did not come from here to here this stock came from here to here okay i want you guys to be aware of that this stock did not start here so if you invested somewhere up here you didn't catch it where it started you catch it where it was going okay in the most recent run now it's cooled off it's showing strength and that's good but where did it come from? It came from down here in the 30 cent range. What more could you ask for, right? The thing is, we all want to be ready and think that the timing that we get in is the perfect timing. And we sometimes forget to look back and say, where am I getting in on this? Like, what point of the graph am I finding out about this? Okay. Now, at this point right here, we already knew there was a spike here of three and also a spike here of 390. So if you saw it here at 275, you know, you don't know as an investor that this could reach all these highs. You just know that it, it could possibly touch again 320. It could possibly touch 390. Well, it certainly did that and it took off again. So when it was around here, this was a high risk play, super high, a little bit more moderate. And then I would just say risk. You know, I would never take risk away from investing. I look at things from risk, moderate risk, high risk, high risk. Why? Because you're close to the highs. And how much higher did it go? Only two more dollars. 
I know I say only two more dollars, but you know, that was it. And that was the peak right there, Mount Everest for now. Now, the cool thing is we've consolidated around this area and we're above $2. Anything above $2 is strength, but you need to do your research and understand the company if you believe in what they're doing. But you always want to remember that the company came from here, not from here. So you can't get, you know, frustrated if you found out about it up here and took a shot at it and it's down here. You just can't. You can't do that because that's not that's not the way that you're supposed to look at investing. Now, when it comes down here, you need to now reanalyze. Do I believe in this? Could this get back up to five dollars? Do I see it getting beyond five dollars? And then you have to say, I'm going to position myself to go ahead and load up on the opportunities because I know this is set to explode. But if you don't do that, then you really don't believe in the company. And then when you got in up here, you need to rethink why did you get in when it was up here? You need to always remember, guys, where did the stock come from? So here we are. This support level is super important right now, 242, 240. That is something you want to watch. The most recent one based off of today's movement is 588. Keep those in mind. The 50-day moving average currently is 266. We're below it, but we are in tug-of-war zone. The bulls could reappear or the bears can tear this one down even further. So we are in bearish territory. The bulls need to cross that to get up higher. Now, what is our resistance? The first resistance level, which got rejected twice in an hour, is right here at 273. For the bulls to pull upwards to newer highs and new resistance levels so that is going to be very important for the bulls to keep in mind if you're a first time you were an investor don't forget to subscribe click on the bell to not miss a single video that i post smash that like button to let me know you watch this video it helps out the youtube channel with the youtube algorithm and let's jump right into it we're going to talk about the s p 500 index and two ticker symbols that have ran up one's ran up 11 dollars since i mentioned it and the other one has ran up 20. Stay tuned. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how the S&P 500 index hit an all new time high, what that means for us next week, and what we need to look for. But before we dive into that, I do want every single investor and viewer to be aware of two ticker symbols that I've been mentioning here on the YouTube. I've mentioned it over at the Patreon. And if you guys want to know what stocks I'm watching weekly and live for 13 cents a day, literally, 13 cents a day, the first tier, $4, which those slots are going to get filled up very soon. I'm treating the Patreon, and I want you guys to be aware of this, like a stock, right? Early stock, IPO'd, you know, a lot of people don't know about it, and it's going to grow over time. And when I mean it grows over time, it's going to grow with people and investors that are bringing value to the community. It's going to grow with all the content I'm going to have there, because when you gain access, you gain access to everything. As soon as you join... You gain access to everything I've talked about in the last two months and everything I'm going to continue to talk about, right? So when somebody comes in a year from now, they're going to actually be able to join on in and they're going to get access to everything that I talked about in a year and even see how things have done. Now, I'm not there to guarantee maximizing profits or minimizing losses, but I am here to set you guys up for that opportunity to maximize your profits, minimize your losses. We're going to have a discord really soon. And if you want to know the top stocks that I'm watching right now and next week and when this weekend comes up, because I'm going to update it, you can join now and start April to succeed this month. If your months have been red or they haven't been as exciting as it's been before, you want to join in now because the opportunities are going to be endless because we're going to talk about so many different ticker symbols, so many different things. But let's look at these stocks. So... The first thing is pin duo duo. I mentioned this on the 24th. It was sitting at 124. Okay. Sitting at 124. And when we look at pin duo duo, you can see here how pin duo duo on the 24th was falling and it kind of sat there at 124. It hit a low of 119. And right now it's sitting at 143 with a high of 147. You could do the math. That's about $27, almost $30. Now, another one that I talked about, which I've mentioned several times here on the YouTube towards the end of the videos, is CHPT. And I talked about how we want to pay close attention to see if it can get back to $20 or get close to it. And certainly it did that. 
and it broke through it okay it hit a low here I talked about it on the 21st the 22nd and ran up to $25 fell down to $19 which is what I equipped every single patreon member with and as soon as it hit that it started to run up and it's hit $30 this one's up $11 since I mentioned it per share so if you bought one share you made $11 if you bought 10 shares you made $110 okay if you went ahead and bought um, 100 shares 100 shares you've made a total amount of 1,100 shares okay I don't know what that means to you I'm gonna explain everything on the patreon once I make the series and these are two opportunities and there's many more that are doing pretty well I mean I even talked about Neo I talked about others you know for you to get the full access there's like 20 plus ticker symbols over there so far you can join us over at the patreon me and the other investors and I'm out here just trying to maximize profits minimize losses and my goal for example just based off this chart is to go ahead and strike the opportunity right here the best opportunity that's presented right now compared to the history of the chart and for the future right I try to get in at the best moments as you can see with those two stocks that I talked about now other stocks are kind of moving sideways but like I said I'll explain more over at the patreon about those stocks and what I see in them and what I believe in them so the S&P 500 index has actually ran up to an all-time high and this is important for us so I want you guys to be aware there's two things that can happen next week we could see it spike up a little bit more and all of a sudden fall down because it is due for a pullback it needs to cool off I'm not saying it's gonna get back to 3973 but it could fall somewhere between that area and once it does it will consolidate maybe and then start to run up again that's one case the second one is that this just gets crazy and goes all the way up to the 4100s 4200s and once it's time to cool off it's gonna be a big cool off and when I say a big cool off I'm talking about like a big downward trend closer to 3800 3900 from those highs and then we're gonna have to go ahead and see overall what's going in the market right because there's gonna be that turbulence of uncertainty with inflation you know spikes in the yields what what's gonna be the cause at that point right but right now we've had a pretty nice bullish run after this slight pullback we're gonna just have to see how healthy this can maintain itself and pullbacks are healthy it's just about how big is the pullback gonna be and also runs are healthy but how long will it be running because if this just takes off to 41 42 the pullback is gonna be nasty and we need to pay close attention now I know a lot of us have our ticker symbols or our stocks kind of sitting sideways or downwards but you have to find stocks you believe in and you also need to analyze those stocks that you're in why were you in them what was your goal and do you truly believe there's an opportunity six months from now or a year from now as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money